So our responsive reading is from 2 Timothy 3, 16 through 17. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto every good work. Amen. You may be seated and turn back to John chapter 1. Amen. All right, Mama. Good morning, my beloved. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Truly is a good morning. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. It is. Every day above ground. Amen. <laughs> it is a good day. Pastor Dean had that big towel up here. I guess there's a lot of sweating going on up here. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Let us pray. Lord, in the peace of this morning. I can remember back in your word when the disciples was on the ship in the midst of the storm and it was fearful of sinking. Expert seamen went down below and called upon Jesus. Wake up, Jesus, before we perish. And he came up and said, Peace. Be still. Yes. The storm ceased. The winds blew no more. Amen. The sea was calm and the light broke out. Yes. He looked to his disciples and said, Ye of little faith. Yes. Lord, sometimes we have little faith. Yes. But Lord, you said if we had the faith of a mustard seed. Yes. We could speak to the mountains in our lives and they would be moved. It is my prayer this morning that the main mountain be moved and as the mountain of sin. I pray that everyone here has dealt with their sin through the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Everyone that sees this message through the YouTube or wherever have dealt with that mountain of sin. Amen. and have placed their faith in Jesus' work upon the cross. Yes. Confess that he is Lord, yes. that he died for my sin, yes. and was resurrected on the third day that I might have eternal life. Yes. Should never fear again of a storm yes. Yes. or even the storm of death. Yes. Because when we die, it's a matter of transferring from this life yes. to eternal life in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye. But the second we accept Jesus Christ, we have that eternal life within us. And Lord, we thank you for the true light this morning, which I desire to speak about. The true light. For it's in Christ's name, for his sake do I pray. Amen. 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 Our world today, as you notice, you don't even have to listen to the news. Just look around. Right. It is in darkness. Yes, sir. Physical darkness and spiritual darkness. Right. Anything contrary to the word of God is darkness. Yes, yes sir. And the Bible says man loved darkness, mm -hmm. believing that his deeds cannot be seen. Right. All right. But even in the midst of darkness, God can see the deeds that are done. That's right. As we know today, things that are being done in the darkness from the White House to the outhouse All right. has been revealed. Yeah, yeah. And it's a shame on us. That's right. We do things in darkness and think we can get away with it. That God does not see it. But God is omnipresent. God is everywhere. Yeah, yeah. If we go to the east, 
he's there. If we go to the west, he's there. If we can go to the north, north, he's there. If we go to the south, he's there. If we go to the moon, he's there. Yeah. He is everywhere all and right, sees God. all things. Yes, he does. So don't think that we can get away with something. I notice how some people be speeding down a highway with their lights out. Yeah. They, they can avoid the sheriff. All right. But just like the sheriff has a radar detector, he can see them even in the dark. Yeah. And they can sneak around and run in the dark. Mm -hmm. But just like Jonah found out, he could not run far enough from God. That's right. He's everywhere. Isn't that great that we also know that wherever we go, God will not forsake us. He is with us. That's right. As long as we know him. Amen. The world is full of darkness, yes, sin, sir. <coughs> sickness, despair, death, corruption, and full of hell. All right. Full of hell. I have been told that if you drive up beside a car and they got that nasty music playing, yeah. shaking your car, don't look over and roll up your window because that will upset them. My, my. You don't want to upset the devil when he's doing all those things. Just keep your mind on Jesus and keep your head straight forward. All right. Because people will shoot you just for looking at them. All right. Be careful. Yes, sir. Be as wise as a serpent, but as gentle as a dove. All right. These are days that we really need to call upon the wisdom of God. Come on, preacher. James said he gives wisdom to yes. those who are struggling through yes. things, especially the trials of this life. All right. Yes, sir. There are many lights in the world that people are speaking, seeking spiritual understanding. Mm -hmm. On my way to KU Hospital the day, I drove down 39th Street and I saw something that said, a spiritual center. Hmm. It didn't say church. It didn't say mausoleum. Or it didn't say a temple. It didn't say, it just said spiritual center. Huh. I wonder what they go in and what kind of spiritual light are they seeking? Yeah. All right. Yeah. The Mason, they will allow all lights to be on their shelf. Mm -hmm. Jehovah Witness, yeah. right. Muslim, Christian, Scientology, they put them all in a row and so said they okay. Hmm. But Jesus right. is the only light. Amen. He said, I am yeah. the light of the world. Yes, he did. And when he says that I am, people get upset. They do. They want to call God a higher power. Hmm. The man upstairs. Yeah. This and that. Everything was okay yeah. until the light stepped down from glory. All right. They had no problem with God, but when Jesus yeah, came, Jesus. that's when the problem began. Yes, yeah. sir. Jesus came not to make peace. Woo. He came to divide families. All right. And many know of families who are divided because they have trusted the in the Lord. Yeah. Yes, sir. But well, let's look at what God has to say about the true life. Right. Because there are many men out there who want to reveal God to you. Yes. Show nature and meaning and destiny and the future and other things. God, they claim to guide men out of darkness, out of sin, out of dark doubt and despair and fear of death. And they, plain, they, can't plain, they plainly say they can do all these things, but they're counterfeit. All they right. want to do, they say they can do away and eliminate darkness entirely. But they only deal with the outer shell. Yes, sir. Outer shell. And some of those guys have made big money on TV dealing with the mental side, mm -hmm. the outer shell. All right. But they have not dealt with darkness, and that darkness is the sin that dwells right. in every man, woman, boy, and girl yes, sir. when they are born. Yeah, yeah. But in the, here he says, in John, John chapter 1, in the beginning was the Word. All right. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him. And apart from him, nothing came into being that has come into being. Yes, sir. In him was life. Uh-huh. And this life 
was the light of man. Yes. Right. The light shined in darkness and the darkness did not comprehend it or the darkness did not understand it. That's right. Then came a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify about the light so that all might believe through him he was not the light, yeah. but he came to testify about oh. the light. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Now here, in the beginning, it's talking about not that God had a beginning. All right. Not that Jesus had a beginning. No, no. Not that the Holy Spirit had a beginning, because they always have been and always will be. Yes, but it talks about in Genesis chapter 1, in the beginning, that's when the three trinity God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. But Jesus Christ was the one who created, yes, sir. along with the Father, everything that existed and everything that didn't exist, he did on his own. All right. So that's what he's talking about when he says, in the beginning. Mm -hmm. The beginning of the creation of the world. But then in verse 9 it said, there was the true light. Yes, sir. Aren't you glad about the true light? The true light. Yeah. There was the true light, which cometh into the world, enlightens every man. We're going to talk yeah. about that. Yeah. He was in the world, mm -hmm. and the world was made through him. This is now. And the world did not know him. Yeah, yeah. He came into the world, uh -huh. and the world was made by him, not the creation. But the people of the world right, right. did not recognize him, mm -mm. did not know him, and they did not receive him. They didn't receive him. They did not receive him. No, sir. That's right. He came to his own. Yes, he did. He came to his own. Mm -hmm. Did not rec Those who were his own did not recognize him. No, no. He yes. went to his own. Israelite Jewish family. Yes, sir. But they did not recognize him. So now we have the world rejecting him. Yep. And now we have the Israelites, the Jews, rejecting him. And if you go into a Jewish temple today, you will not see the New Testament because they're still waiting for the Messiah to come. That's right. You'll see the Old Testament. If you go on with the New Testament, they will run you out. All right. All right. They are still waiting for the Messiah. Still waiting. But look here, praise God for the buts in uh -huh. the Bible. Oh, yeah. But, but as many yes. as received him, yeah, yeah. as oh. many Jews, as many Gentiles oh. who received him, yes, sir. to them he gave the right, the authority, right. the power yeah. to become children of God. Aren't you glad? Yes, sir. Do we have any children of God here today? All right. Yes. Do we have anyone in here Praise who has the received the light? Yes, yes. Man. Thank you, Jesus. To those who believed in his name, who were born not of blood, right. nor of the will of God, I mean will of flesh, nor the will of man, but born of the will of God. All right, preacher, say that. Say that. That's it. The first, first thing we need to look at is in this text is who is Jesus. Come on now. Come on now. Look at his deity. Yeah. Who is Jesus? Who is he? How can you how can he claim to be the I am? <laughs> anything he can say anything else to the Jewish nation, but when he said I am, he was really rec he was recognizing what, to what God said to Moses. He said, What should I say when I go to them? Tell them that I am, I am, I am sent you. Yeah, yeah. Come and on, when God. he said I am, what he was really saying is that I am God. Yes, sir. Right. And that's why they picked up stones and tried to stone him. Yeah. But they couldn't because it was not yet his hour right. to die on the cross. That's right. Oh, that's right. right. He claimed to be equal with God. Yes, sir. He is the great I am. There are others out there who claim to be I am. Buddha died. Yeah. Muhammad died. Yes, sir. Joseph Smith died. Yes, sir. All these other I am's who said they have a revelation from God or, or whoever, they died. They died. 
But when Jesus died, he got up again so he could claim to be I am. Yes, sir. Because he never was born in light. He was born in man's likeness that he could come and show us how to live a perfect life. And the only reason he came was the mission was to save us. He came not to judge man, right. but he came that we might be saved, as he said, to those who believed in his name would believe and be saved. In the Gospel of John, at the end of his book, he said, all that I have written, the one purpose was that you might believe that he is the Son of God, and through believing that you might be saved. Yes, sir. So if you ever want to lead someone to the Lord, they want to know about God, tell them to read the Gospel of John first. Don't send them to the Old Testament. Right. Send them to the Gospel of John because right here, the whole book of John yes. was written that we might believe and believe in his name, we can receive him and become Children of God. Yes, There's many people who sit in church in Sunday school yeah. and Sunday school and Sunday school right. and worship and worship like I did for 32 years and my father was a devil until yeah. I received Jesus yes, as my Lord. All right. My spiritual father for 32 years in the church house yes, was Satan. All right. You was a tear, my brother. 32. Oh, you keep saying that. Man. Yes, the tear and the wheat grow together. That's right. But thank God I got out of the tear congregation. There you go. And got into the congregation of the light. All right. People, that's why you see so much hell in the church. Yes, sir. Because hell is in the people. They have not dealt with sin. Yes, sir. They are still following their father, the devil. Jesus said, you just like your father, the devil. Yes, sir. We don't want to believe that, though. All right. They're sitting in the churches right beside us. But we don't want to believe it. That's right. From the pulpit All right. to the outhouse. Make it plain now. Say that. Because when I was in Calvary, I read a book about the pulpit preacher. And the guy, pastor testified in there. He'd been preaching 10 years. Pastoring 10 years. Yeah. Before he got saved on one of his own messages. Amen. Oh, Amen. Amen. He had all the credentials. Yes, sir. But he had not received Jesus. All right. What a testimony. My wife and I was planting, helping church planters throughout North America. Down in Petersburg, Virginia. A pastor was having revival. Been married to his wife years. When the invitation was given, she got up and came down the aisle. All right. Where, where, where are you going? To receive I, I've never received Jesus. All right. Amen. Praise God. What a testimony. Praise God that she did. That's right. But I thank God through my wife. All right. That's how I got saved. Amen. All right. She had a relationship. Yeah. yeah. I have religion. Yes, sir. I said, something's different there about you. Different. All right. Yes. It took me a while to figure it out. Hmm. She had a relationship. She had received, but I had religion. Yeah. Religion will not get us to heaven. All right. Only relationship through Jesus Christ yeah. will allow us to enter those pearly gates. Yes, sir. If you got, I know I got religion. I've been baptized. <laughs> Saying that all the way to hell. Went down the center, came up a center. No God, I used to sing that song. Yes, sir. I know I got, you know it, sister. <laughs> I've been <laughs> baptized. Went down to the river. When I first received my call, Deacon Milgan said, You need a song. Yeah. Boy, I tried to sing, and Kim was young back there, her entire back on the back row, rolling and kicking and laughing. Good God Almighty. My wife told me, You have not been called to sing, so leave it alone. <laughs> Jesus is the true light. Yes, he is. See, I tell you, your wife is your best critic. I just tell her, wait until Monday, sister. Don't do it until I wait. Don't do it on the way home. Wait until Monday. I'm feeling good right now. I thought I sung a song. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. He's been so. Kim was rolling and she's rolling now. Amen. 
I still can sing it in the shower by myself. All right, all right. And I still can feel like it's good to me. That's right, make a joyful noise. That's what it is. It's, I'm joyful about joyful, sound. brother. It's a noise, all right. All right. Jesus is the true light. Just like light is clear and pure and clean and good, so is Jesus. Light penetrates the darkness. If we turn out the lights in here, it's dark. When we turn on the light, it penetrates. And what happens? The dark will flee like roaches fleeing in a house when you turn the light on. Right. Whoever grew up with roaches in their house? I did. Those little rascals be all over the place. Turn the light on, they just start running. All right. And when you turn the light on people, the light of Jesus, and they're so simple, they'll start trying to run for the dark yeah. because they don't like the light. They love the darkness, yep. and they'll run and try to hide. Yeah. But the light follows them because right. the light is the one that draws. We cannot draw anyone to Jesus. We can give them the gospel, but the Holy Spirit will draw them to Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We can't win souls. No, no. Only God can win souls. Yes, sir. I went out so winning. No, you went out proclaiming the God word, and God will give the increase. That's right. If he so desires, he is long suffering that none should perish, but he didn't say that all were going to be saved. All right, preacher. Light enlarges largest things, one's vision and knowledge. Light reveals, opens up the truth. Light is good. Light guides and keeps us from groping around in the dark. Yeah. Going over here trying to try out a new thing. Going over here trying out a new thing. Yeah. But if we just stay with the word of God. We don't need to try any of these other false doctrines out here. Right. Stick with the word of God. I tell you, the pandemic has done a lot to hurt the church today. Because yes, people started, oh, I don't want to listen to the past this morning. I want to go listen to so-and-so over here. I want to go listen to this person over here. I want to listen to that person over here. Before they know it, they get all confused. Yes, sir. And they're out there, and they don't even come back to the church. All right. Yes, sir. They don't even come back. That's right. But you know what it did also? It strengthens those who are there. Because there was wheat and tears we're there together. Yes, sir. And Paul said in Corinthians, it must be so that some are not really true, saved, and some are in the church that are not saved. That's right. And he said it must be there to show those who truly are saved. Yeah. And some have just left the church. That gave them the way out. All right. I didn't really want to come anyway. All right. So that gave them a way out. Yeah. And those remnant that is left is really the basic strength of the church. All right. Those are in Sunday school, those are in prayer meetings, those are in Sunday, yes. those are out witnessing, letting this light of theirs shine everywhere. Yes, those are the true Christians in the church. All right. I know it may seem kind of dark, I know it may seem kind of dim, but stand on the promises of God yes, sir. and everything will be all right. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about those who went out and never came back. All right. Paul said they were not of us anyway. Yes, sir. Light exposes and strips away in darkness. Light distinguishes between right and wrong. The mission of Christ was to give light to all men. Christ gives light in the natural revelation, Romans chapter 1. It says, through all the created things. Yes, sir. I sit out on the deck sometimes just looking at the squirrels and the rabbits and, and the trees and the squirrels running all around. Mm -hmm. well, I'm out teaching the kids first tee at golf. I look at all the deers up there and the turkeys. And I look, I sometimes sit there, have my message, and I sit there. Nobody's there. It's quiet up on the top of the hills just for first tee students. And I sit there and wait for them to come. I look out and I say, how can someone look at all that's created? and believe in a stupid theory about the Big Bang Theory. All right, all right, preacher, that's right. How it takes more faith to believe in that yes, sir. than to believe in this. Yes, sir. Scientists have become saved by, by studying the stars in the universe, yeah. seeing how organized it is that the sun is far enough away that it won't burn us up and close enough that we won't freeze to death. Yes, sir. Everything is just so beautifully arranged, but because of sin, things are happening that never happened before. All right. Noah preached 120 years yes, he did. and had eight converts. That's right. <laughs> talking about something 
that never happened before. Yeah. It had never rained before the great flood. Right. The earth was watered from an underground stream. It came up and watered everything. Yeah. So here he is preaching 120. Think what we're preaching now is foolishness. <laughs> That's what some people think. They really thought it was he preaching it about rain and a flood right. and he's got this big ark out here yeah. in the middle of nowhere where it's never flooded and he preached 120 years and only eight people got saved eight people. <laughs> when the rain started coming and beating on their heads and the water got so high and they really didn't know how to swim because they never had a need to swim All right. <laughs> how foolish was it now yeah yeah People think what we, what we say and what we preach and what we talk about is foolishness they do, they to do. the natural man. Yes, it is. Foolishness. They rather believe someone on TV, some philosopher, some yes. mental health guy, some self-help guy, rather than believe in the true help, the word of God. All right. So you have the natural revelation, but you also have those who have been born again have yeah. a... Yes. Special revelation. Yes, sir. Amen. The natural man, because he does not have the spirit of God, cannot understand this to the point as far as we do, the deep things of it. All right. He can understand it enough to get saved, and then he can understand the deep parts. But the natural man, because he does not have the spirit of God dwelling in him, he thinks this is foolishness. Yes, he does. Ever since the word of God has been written down on tablets of clay or wherever, man has tried to destroy it. Yeah. But it's still here. Yes, sir. Amen. It will always be here. That's right. Amen. They tried to destroy what they don't understand. Yes. They could not comprehend it, so they wanted to destroy it. That's right. So Christ is one of the triune gods. He is God. And I tell you, it was much more light given. There was the light of Christ himself. Mm -hmm. When he walked on earth, they said they beheld his grace because through the law did not come grace. All right. It came judgment. But full of grace and mercy, they, they, they looked at him. But mm -hmm. well, think about this. His family, his own family and his household, his yeah. brothers and sisters, they did not believe him. James, who wrote the book of James, did not even believe that he was Messiah until after, after. he yes. got up on that third day. Yes, sir. Lived with him all that time until he was 33 and a half years old yes, sir. and still did not believe that he was Christ. Right. And some of the disciples even doubted him. Yeah. When he went to the cross and died, what did they do? They went back about their own business back. Let's go fishing and I'll go whip you, Peter. Yeah. Let's go do this. And he had to show himself again. He said, do y have y'all caught any fish? And they said, no. He said, cast your, your, your net on the right side. And they drug in the fish. And they noticed he already had the breakfast prepared for them on the coals. And they still, they still didn't understand until... He resurrected from the grave. Come on, All right. They were in the house, shuddering, fearful. Yeah. But on the day of Pentecost, oh, they is. came out like bold tigers. Yes, sir. Man. They came out like lions roaring. All right. Not even worried about dying. All right. Before they were scared, but when you're filled with the Holy Ghost, yeah. You can't witness on your own. All right. But when you go out in the spirit of the Holy Ghost, because the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit is the one that draws man. Right. But when you try to go out in your own flesh and try to be a witness, John the Baptist had a draw on God, even though he wasn't filled with the Spirit yet. That didn't happen until the day of Pentecost. Yeah. The Spirit came down on people, but it didn't dwell within them. Right. We have special rights now because he that's in us is greater than he's in the world. And we got all of God in us. Yes, Think sir. about that, folks. God is dwelling inside of us. Yes, sir. Amen. He's in us. Yes, sir. All of his power yeah. is in us. Yes, sir. But we fail to draw upon his power because we don't read the word and see his promises and his power, but we try to do it in our own flesh. All right. And we grieve the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, we do. Amen. Just like those boys in the book of Acts that ran into the house and got whooped out naked. 
He said, Paul, I know. Yeah. Jesus, I know. Well, who are you? But who do you think you are? Yes, sir. And whooped them out. Now, when they said they had naked, they had on undergarments. Uh -huh. Like they wore back in the cowboy days. They wasn't butt naked, All but right. they was nakedly scared. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. Yes. Who are you? Who are you? Yes, sir. And if we go out and try to be a witness without the Holy Spirit, that's what they're going to say. going to slap us. And there's no such thing as stomp the devil's head. All right. We can't stomp the devil. No, no. We have to go in the power of Jesus and resist the devil. Yes, sir. Don't go out there trying to like, beat up on the devil. Say the that. angels didn't even argue over Moses' body. That's right. Because they knew, he said, let, we'll let the Lord deal with you. Yes, sir. But we won't go out and talk about stomp the devil. All right. We don't have enough power no, to no. stomp the devil. No, no. Jesus crushed his head, yes, sir. but we can't crush his head. All right, preacher. Make it plain. Don't be foolish. Don't be foolish. Oh, I listened to that old song over and over this morning. I listened to that old song that guy was singing. Don't let the devil ride. And definitely don't let him drive. Because he'll take you farther than you want to go. Boy, he was singing that song and playing that little Monica. And don't let the... Boy, Lucille was upstairs, but I was downstairs having a good time. Don't let the devil ride or drive. Ever since I married my beautiful bride, all right, Amen. over 38 years or more, praise God, Amen. I made a promise to God and a promise to her, no woman will ride my car unless her or my daughter were with me. That's yeah, right. all right. When I passed to the church in Tennessee, they asked me, if a woman's on the highway, bro, I'm driving by. I'll call, I'll now call to 911, but I'm, you're not going to stop? You know she's bleeding. No, I'm driving right on by. That's cruel. Say what you want. And then there's the light of the gospel. Yes, sir. That's our tool, the light of the gospel. All right. And the light of the spirit. But then we get to the next 10 and 11 verse real quickly here. I read the world rejected him yeah. and the world system today still will reject him. Yes, they are. When we go to witness and they close the door, they say, no, we don't want any of that. Remember, they're not rejecting us. No, right. They're right. rejecting Jesus yes, in us. Yes, sir. We can just walk into a room of hell That's the truth. and people say, there's something different sure about is. you. Yes, sir. <laughs> you would say anything. Just walk in. Mm -hmm. There's something different. Woo, You're not enjoying our nasty jokes. All right. You're not drinking our drink. That's right. right. You're not smoking the legalized marijuana. Come on, preacher. That, right. that, I never would have thought I heard that coming out. All right. Now it's legalized. Yeah. It's legalized. Just what we needed. More high people driving. Yeah. Maybe that's why they're running all these red lights and carrying on. Be careful. When I was young, I would time it. Get to the last time I'm get through there. I'm going to time it. You time it now, you're going to get smacked. All right. Because these people don't stop. That's right. They'll drive aside and see the lights red and stop and just go right on. Yes, sir. And I thought I'd become one of these old country road preachers. I mean drivers, driving down the country road. Mm -hmm. Two lanes, just driving slow. And I said, man, I'm five, I'm five miles over the speed limit, and they 20 miles over. So it ain't just me. People have gone off the deep end since they got out of the pandemic restrictions. They have just drove and drove like crazy. Yes, sir. And you get up to the light, and they're right beside them. They, Jesus came. Yes. yes. To the world. Yes, he did. Rejection. Yes. Think about it, folks. When you go into your own home, mm -hmm. the word says the prophet is not honored That's right. in his own home. That's right. When you get saved That's the truth. and go into your own home, to your family, your cousins, right. your in-laws, your relatives, your outlaws. If, <laughs> if, I ain't say that. If they're not saved, That's right, Amen. they're not going to love you like they used to. All right, Amen. preacher. They won't hang out with you like they used All to. All right. You're right. Sometimes they can invite us to the events and everything. And, uh, 
We'll stay a little while because I know they want to break out the, I bought my own bottle. Mm -hmm. That's right. But sometimes they'll break it out if you're there anyway. That's right. Preachers in the house, don't still break it out of my bottle. Go ahead on. But when that light comes in the room, All right. they're not going to like you the same. All right. Because see, light and darkness have nothing in common. That's yeah. right. That's what it says. Don't be unequally yoked. Come on, preacher. Because what's going to happen is that darkness is going to pull you mm. and try to pull you away from the light. Yes, it will. And you're going to try to pull the darkness yes. to the light, pull the darkness. It's going to be a constant struggle. Yeah. A constant struggle. All right. All through the relationship. It's going to be a constant struggle. Yes, sir. And that's sad. It is. Yeah. But that's reality. It is. Yeah. Jesus did not come to make peace in the household right they're going to reject you in one way or another your brothers your sisters your yeah. mother your father yeah. your spouse if they're not saved they're going to reject you that's right and you run to the church house you give that preacher all your money <laughs> and give him all your time my, my. and you ain't even fixed sunday dinner I'll tell me, you're going to come to church. Make sure you got Sunday dinner ready <laughs> for him before you come. All right. Have it on the stove. Have it in the refrigerator. Pop it in the microwave. Yeah. Have Sunday dinner ready so that'd be one less thing he could throw a stone about. All right. And let him know you ain't giving the money to the pastor. Right. You're giving it to the church. Yes. Because they'll think of any kind of thing. All right. To reject him. Yes, they will. Reject the messengers. Yeah. I'm the messenger. I'm not the one that gives the message. I'm just the messenger. That's if right. you want to get mad at someone, get mad at God. Yes, sir. But they're going to get mad at us. Mm -hmm. Christians are persecuted still and killed. You know the writer of John is the only disciple that died a natural death. Yes, sir. All the rest of them was Crucified. Peter was crucified upside down. All right. The rest of those were killed, martyrs. Yes, sir. I used to watch the gladiators until I recognized that the ones they were killing in the arena were Christians. That's right. Like sheep led to the slaughter, and they were rejoicing, and they rejoice today when they have a chance to persecute Christians. But the Word is our guide. Yes, sir. But then again, look at the, the beauty of it all. Through all this, some accepted him and were given the right to become something that they weren't. All right. They had to be born again. Yes, sir. Nicodemus came by night. He was a leading Pharisee. He went by to see him, so he snuck up there at night. Mm -hmm. Imagine what come to your house at night, so I want him to see Jesus. <laughs> I want to know about being born again. What would you do? I tell him. That's what Jesus said. You must be born again, yes, Nicodemus. Sir. And Nicodemus said, how, how can I do that? That's what the world's going to be saying. How, how can I be born again? Can I go back to my mother's womb when I'm old? And Jesus said, you are a teacher and you don't know this? That's right. He was talking about spiritual birth. Yes, yes. sir. Yes. Uh, we've been born physically. When we're born physically, we are born sinners. Yes. We have a sin nature. That little baby, we always says, looks good even though it may be ugly. All right. I just say, you look just like your parents. My, my. We always tell that, like, oh, that baby's beautiful. Oh, so beautiful. That baby's beautiful. I got to, to say, you look just like your parents. That baby has a sin nature. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. And don't sprinkle them like I was sprinkled. That didn't do any good. I was sprinkled as a baby, and I still like my, live like my father devil because sprinkling does no good. Baptism does no good. Until that person grows up in knowledge of Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, yes, they are still lost. Nicodemus, you must be spiritually born again. Yes, sir. And I wonder if he got it. He did later. Later? Because he wanted to go get the body. 19. John later. 19. Yes, sir. He got it. Yes, sir. People today, they need to get it. Mm -hmm. They need to be born again. Yes, sir. Not by blood. Some because my mother or my father's a Christian. I'm a Christian. 
No, no you're no. not. Not by the bloodline. That's you right. must be born again. Yes, sir. Not by the will of flesh, a sexually desire to have a child. That child may be born, but that child must be born again. Yeah. Not by the will of a man, a leader of the family. He cannot make a child born again and be saved. Oh, no. It's just a born again child. Amen. Only by God can Amen. one be born again. Yes, sir. Yeah, after the pandemic, I was just weekly sitting in the office, my doctor's office. You know, I had this, these pins. They have one in the dirty cup and one in the clean cup. Yeah. I ask you today, which cup are you in? Right. Are you still in the dirty cup or are you in the clean cup? Yes, sir. Many people in the dirty cup and they love the wide road that leads to destruction. But that narrow cup, yeah. that's the ones who've been clean from head to toe and washed by the blood of Jesus. Yes, sir. But some are still in the dirty cup. Bye -bye. Rattling around over there. All right. And we need to be careful, Sister Dean. We don't touch the dirty cup. We may get COVID. Yes, sir. Make sure we get the clean ones. They say are clean. All right. And then take that sanitizer and wash that off your hands after you touch them pins. I wash my hands so much I think they're gonna change colors. All right. But they still the same. Have you been Bye -bye. born again? All right. Don't amen. sit here and say amen. You still have not received Jesus. Yes, sir. You have to be spiritually born again. Yes, sir. Jesus is God. I am a sinner. Yes, sir. He came to die for my sins on that cross. Yes, sir. He got up on the third day. I believe and confess my sins. I want Jesus to come to my heart. And then I can receive him as my Lord and Savior. Yes, sir. It's all yours, Pastor. Amen. 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 Let's all say amen. 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 Let's all say amen. Say amen again. Amen. We got it plain. Amen. We got it straightforward, didn't we? And that's what we need. To hear the truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. And as it was properly explained, the only way you can be saved is when you come to know that Jesus is the Christ. Amen. John 20, 31 says. And that's why all that John is all about. He's showing that Jesus is the Christ. Is and then those who receive him, those who receive him, mm -hmm. are given the right to become the children of God. Amen. Amen. So, and then John, as, he, as Dr. Lee talked about, you got to be born into two families. Yes. We're born into Adam's family when we first birth. Amen. But that second birth has to be in the family of God. Amen. And the good thing about that second birth, just like the first birth, you can't lose it. And you don't do it. Amen. You had nothing to do with your first birth. Come on, Richard. And and the Bible says, as he just pointed out so eloquently, not by not by blood. Not by the will of man, not by, but by the will of God. So a lot of people miss what that's saying. That's right. Salvation is of God. Yeah. And, and as we're going through John, we're in John 6, and we'll see a little bit later, yeah. as Jesus tells the people, all that the Father gives me will come to me. Yeah. It's of God. Amen. We were chosen in him before the foundation of the world. Yeah. And God didn't choose wrong. Some people say, well, why did God choose some and not others? Well, number one, God is perfect. Amen? Amen. I remember uh, uh, watching Star Trek, and one time the, uh, uh, there was a machine. It was called Nomad. And he said, I'm perfect. And he was destroying people because they was imperfect in his mind. And the only way Captain Kirk could destroy him is to show him that he wasn't perfect because he thought... Captain Kirk was the creator. When Captain Kirk said, no, it was not me, it was my grandfather who created you. So no man, you're not perfect. And no man self-destructed. Yep. When he realized he wasn't perfect. Yep. But none of us are perfect. And as Dr. Lee pointed out, we needed a savior. Amen? And we need to let people know they need a savior. Because that's first step. To being right with God. Amen? Amen. And so we praise God that He is the light yes. that shows us the light, the true light that came into the world. Amen? Amen? And if you agree with this message and you agree with us, 
We want to stand and present ourselves for a time of commitment to say, you know what, I want to show that light. Show that light so that others can see Christ through me. Amen.